So in this example problem, we are adding water to a base um, in order to decrease its pH. So since I'm adding water, I know it's a dilution. All I'm doing is taking a base, adding some water. It must be a dilution. I'm going to use M1V1, M2V2. Now, big mistake people normally make, they just end up plugging pHs in. Nothing in this formula says pH, um, so I can't plug 8 and 7.92 in. Since this is a base, though, I know that that means my molarities must be OH minus. So my first job is to take both of those pHs and get them however many equations I need to to get them to the molarity of OH. So I'm going to start by saying 14 minus my pH. 14 minus 8 gets me my pOH of 6. pOH still can't be plugged in here, but 10 to the negative pOH, that does get me my OH concentration, my OH molarity. So if I'm starting with a pH of 8, which has this OH molarity, that's before I've diluted it, before I'm adding water to it. Um, another way I know that is it's further from neutral than this other pH. So this is my M1. Um, how much of this stuff do I have? Well, 200 milliliters. Milliliters is fine as long as I know my other side is going to come out in milliliters. Now my other pH, I need to do the same thing for 14 minus 7.92 gets me 6.08 as my pOH. So 10 to the negative 6.08 gets me my OH concentration. To be 8.32 times 10 to the negative 7. That's my M2. Uh, which means the only thing missing is my V2. So I had this basic solution, a certain amount of it. I dilute it, I add some water, I end up with a new solution um, with this molarity of OH. So, solving for V2, 1 times 10 to the negative 6 times that 200, divide by the 8.32 times 10 to the negative 7. Um, for my V2, I get 240, something like that. That's not my answer. It says how much water should be added. So remember, I had 200 milliliters of this stuff. Then I dilute it, and 7.92 is its pH. V2 represents the volume after diluting. Not how much water I added. Um, right? If I had, if you draw a picture, if I had 200 milliliters of this stuff, then I dilute it, I end up with 240 milliliters. So what I added, the difference between those two numbers, that's what tells me how much water I added. So 240 minus the original that I started with tells me that 40 milliliters of water were added.